So in the previous video, we have seen how to create a new page that is to create a multiple pages so that we are creating prerequisite for our Angular routing. Now in this video, let's create the required routes so that whenever we navigate from one event to another event, we'll be able to fetch the details of that particular event using this event hyphen details component dot HTML and TS. Okay. So initially what we have to do to introduce routing into our Angular application. So inside events hyphen app dot component dot TS here, this is our main page where we are, we are going to display our HTML content. So if you observe over here, I'm providing template that is nav hyphen bar and events list. These are the details which will be displayed on our main page that is home page. Now, instead of specifying events hyphen list over here, I can get rid of this. And here I can specify router outlet. So to understand more about this router outlet and routing, you can refer my 25th video of this series of this playlist of Angular routing. Okay. So in this series on the 25th video, I have explained in detail about the routing concept. So I am not going to explain more about it now. I'll just go on with the development. Okay. So here we are going to specify router hyphen outlet. Next, next thing what we have to do, we have to provide specific paths for each of our components. We have several components, right? Like event hyphen list component, details component. For these component, we have to provide specific routes where our application has to navigate. Okay. So to do that, let's introduce a new file into our app folder. Okay. Let's create a new file over here with the name as routes.ts. In this file, we are going to specify all the routes where our, our application has to navigate whenever we click on any specific paths. Okay. So let's define export const some variable I'll provide as app routes. Okay. And we have to create an array over here, which will have key value pairs. Key value pairs includes the path as well as the component. Okay. So here we have to specify the path of the navigation where we want to navigate to. That is path is events and component associated component for this events. This is where the path means slash events. Whenever we are navigating to slash events from the home page, this component should be used. That is what we are defining over here events list component. So I want to display all the events. That is a list of the events which are coming from events list component. Whenever I navigate to slash events, that is what I'm specifying over here. Okay. And another path I want to specify for the details. For details, we are passing the parameter as ID, right? For each of the event, we have a specific ID, unique ID. So we have to specify over here like slash colon ID. This is how we have to specify. And component, respective component for this is event details component. So event details component. And we have to import event list component as well. Similarly. Okay, import. events list component from dot slash event slash events list component okay and similarly for this routes it is it is included inside angular router so we have to import that as well that is import routes import routes from at the rate angular slash route okay so we have provided here there is a spelling mistake yeah so we have provided the required routes for each of these components that is event list component event details component but there is one thing which we have to remember over here 
when there is no path for example there is no events or there is no event slash colon id in that case what will be the default which we want to specify where our application has to navigate to where it has to redirect to that we have to specify that is the default thing so we are going to specify that as well so if the path is nothing okay we are not specifying any path then it should redirect to where i want to redirect to i can specify over here as slash events this is my home page right so i want to make this as home page means i want to make this as a default path whenever i am not specifying uh, the path for the navigation it should navigate back to the home page okay and here the path match we have to specify path match we have to specify over here as full okay even this about all these concepts i have already covered in this playlist which i have created on angular you can refer my 25th video of this series to understand more about each of these i have explained each and everything what is path what is component what is redirect to what is path match everything you can refer those videos okay if you are not understanding what i am trying to say over here okay now we have created routes required router outlet we have specified over here we have created routes next point what we have to do we have to register these routes right we have to import these routes onto our main module that is app app dot module dot ts so inside app dot module dot ts we have to specify along with browser module we are going to specify router module okay router module and this router module using dot for root we have to use okay dot for root and inside this we have to pass the array which we had created inside our routes routes dot es we have created array with app routes right this is a variable which we have used over here to create this array so we have to pass that inside for root okay app routes okay so for this we have to import app routes from dot slash routes okay import app routes from dot slash routes that's it so we got rid of this error as well so what we have done so far we have specified router outlet inside events hyphen app dot component dot ts so can, so that we can enable routing inside our angular application and we have specified different paths inside our routes dot ts by creating a file inside app folder okay we have specified all the paths and components where it has to navigate to after this we have registered this app routes inside our imports array of app dot module dot ts that's it we have done necessary changes for navigating to event hyphen details component dot html this we have specified in our previous video we have discussed regarding event hyphen details right so now let's run this project and let's see the output okay so we can run this project by making use of the command npm space start getting compiled okay it got compiled successfully and it got hosted into http colon localhost 4200 let's open this now you can see the application page where our events list are getting displayed now if you get rid of this event slash events and click on enter still it will navigate here this is what we are specifying inside app routes if you observe over here inside routes.ts redirect to slash events when we are not specifying any path it should redirect to slash events this is the default page that's why if you are changing the url also it will navigate back to this page only redirecting back to this page now if you specify over here events hyphen details then you will be able to see these events so i'll specify an id over here that is slash one 
and press enter then we'll be able to display all these details for the specific event so going further instead of sending and passing here the value that is id hard coding we will just provide an event action in such a way that whenever we click on the events right so this is the main page whenever we click on any of these events that particular events details should be displayed on our main page that is event details component.ts on our html page that we'll uh, discuss in our future videos so that's it for this video about angular routing thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos